South Africa, which has had some of the most stringent lockdown restrictions in the world, will be easing some of its rules in the coming week. Our Africa correspondent Andrew Harding reports. A month under lockdown now, one of the strictest in the world. And a country many feared would quickly be overwhelmed by the virus is proving to be astonishingly successful at holding it at bay. This is very effective and most of the people are wearing masks, most of them are sanitizing and uh, so most of the people are staying at home. South Africa's president hasn't got everything right. <laughs> but as he tours new emergency facilities and prepares to nudge open the economy, you can feel the optimism growing here. I've been hugely impressed with the level of preparedness. But that confidence comes with a warning. We are going to be reaching a peak somewhere later in August and in September where we will need lots of hospital beds. So how has South Africa kept the nationwide death toll below 100 so far? These nurses hold the answer. Tens of thousands of community workers are actively screening millions of people, the advantage of a system already primed to hunt down HIV and TB. Send an army of people into the community and do house-to-house -house surveillance for symptoms. So what that did for us, it put an army on the ground and we went to the most socially vulnerable communities. Where this virus was going to most likely spread, that's where we went. Thank you. Thank you but the lockdown here, as elsewhere, is causing huge economic damage in a country that was already in recession. A lot of families here are really battling and um, not able to work, so the food package we received today was really a blessing, um, but it's been tough. It's been tough. So some extraordinary early successes here in South Africa, but this is going to be a long battle and there are new hotspots emerging all the time. And according to the World Health Organization, the wider continent of Africa is still alarmingly ill-prepared for the virus. Even here in South Africa, there has already been some looting and growing frustration. The lockdown may be easing soon, but it'll still be more restrictive than in many countries. Andrew Harding, BBC News, Johannesburg.